Hi, uh, in this video I want to show you how to use static and kinematic objects and uh, what is the difference. Uh, so, uh, static uh, and kinematic objects uh, objects which cannot be affected during simulation. So, uh, you can use them as deflectors, basically. Uh, the difference is that static object is type of object which has not any animation, like this ground, as you can see, it has not any animation, and kinematic object uh, is object which, as you see, has some animation, uh, but uh, it also cannot be affected anyhow by, by other dynamic object. Uh, only it, such kind of object can affect other type of objects. So I will add both of these objects, this ground and this pyramid in this static and kinematic object list, and this bunch of fragments in dynamic list here. And I can start simulation. So as you can see, very simple dynamic object falling and uh, static object just used as deflector. And as you can see, this pyramid also hitting all this dynamic object, but it uses its animation and it cannot be affected anyhow. Okay, uh, also uh, there is a checkbox on grid as ground, which means uh, that physical engine will use. I can uh, clear this list at all. And sometimes you just need to create quick animation of something falling, and you can just check on this checkbox. Do not use any object as kinematic and static and just start simulation and physical engine will use this home grid as deflector so later you can create some some, some geometry ground and this plane is infinite and thank you for watching